In today's video, I'm going to be ranking every new season in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2. So I think a lot of great weapons came out in this new season, and I thought why not go ahead and rank them after a couple of days of using them. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I'm getting pretty close to 8,000 subscribers, so it means a lot to me if you guys could subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's get into this rank. Alrighty guys, so starting off with this new Huntress DMR, I know it's technically a sniper, but to me it's pretty much an AR. The accuracy is pretty good on it, and I think it's just overall pretty easy to hit shots on it. And snipers typically aren't my thing, but this has been a fun gun when I've gotten it, and yeah, it's just super fun to use. I don't think it's 100% perfect or the best weapon that's been added in this new season, but for what it is, I'm really enjoying it. I think it's probably gonna get slept on this season so i'm gonna go ahead and put it in the a tier all right so the next weapon here is the gatekeeper shotgun personally i love this shotgun i think it's the best shotgun currently in fortnite it's like this beautiful combination of the tactical shotgun and a pump shotgun it does the damage of a pump shotgun but it has that nice speed in accuracy of a tactical shotgun and personally i love it i love those faster shotguns and the damage on it is super good i guess the only downside to this shotgun is that it only has three shots at one time and then the reload is a little bit long but i think the three shots actually makes this shotgun more balanced because if you had more shots than that it would just be way too overpowered so this gun does require you to be accurate with it and if you're not, it's not going to work very well for you. So personally, I'm putting this in the S tier. I love this shotgun. It's super fun to use and it works perfectly with my play style. Next up, we got this new SMG. I think it's called the Harbinger SMG or something like that. This is probably my least favorite SMG that's currently in Fortnite. The recoil on it is just kind of bad. It doesn't work well if you're not aiming in with it. Uh, I do like the mythic version of this and when I have the correct scope on it, it can be effective. Besides that, it's not really my favorite SMG. I like the burst SMG that's in Fortnite right now a little bit better. So I'm probably going to put this in the C tier. Wait, why is for some reason the D tier was above the C tier, but this is a C tier SMG in my opinion. I think it might grow on me as I use it more, but for now I'm putting it in the C tier. Next up, we got the Warforged Assault Rifle. I believe that's what it's called. And I mean, this is just a perfect AR that you use in Fortnite. It, uh, it's just the perfect AR to have in your loadout. The recoil isn't too bad. It aims very well. It's fast and does the right amount of damage. And if you get Zeus's Warforged Assault Rifle, it is so much fun to use almost overpowered when you have the mythic one it's just that perfect assault rifle i'm gonna put this in s tier absolutely love it it's always in my loadout every single match next up we have these new wings which i mean it's not it's technically not fully a weapon it's more of a mobility item but you can go ahead and strike down with this with these wings and do some decent damage that way it's definitely a lot of fun flying around with these wings it's fun to use i I'm really enjoying the wings. I use it almost every match, just mainly for the mobility, but I guess as a weapon, it's not too effective. I mean, it can do decent damage, I'm pretty sure, but I mean, yeah, I'm not really going to be using it in combat, so I guess I'll just put it in B tier. Actually, it's going in the A tier. Something I completely forgot to mention about the wings is the fact that every time you get shot, you literally get shot out of the air and start falling down which is a super annoying mechanic. And for that reason alone, I'm actually gonna be putting it back in the B tier. Still like the item overall, but I mean, yeah, just a super annoying mechanism. All right, so moving on to the final new Fortnite item, which is Zeus's lightning bolt. Now, if you don't use this item correctly, you're just gonna get lasered out of the sky. You have to be tactical with this new weapon. And if you use it correctly, it can do some seriously good damage. I don't think it's overpowered or anything like that because it can easily be used to your disadvantage if you just like use it right in front of someone. But I think if you're in a build fight and someone boxes up, you can literally electrocute them through the box or through the builds, I should say. And and I think it works really well with my play style. If you're third partying anyone, you're gonna absolutely freak them out with 
throwing lightning bolts at them. And you can get some good high ground advantage with it as well. And overall, I think it's quite possibly the most balanced new item in this Fortnite chapter. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's probably my favorite item added. I'm going to put it at the top of the S tier. And that is going to do it for this new season. Overall, I think the new loot pool and everything, new locations, it's just absolutely amazing. I'm having so much fun with this new Fortnite season. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments section down below. And how would you guys rank these new items? Let me know in the comments section as well. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Pretty close to 8,000 subscribers, so it would mean a lot to me if you guys could subscribe to the channel. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.